Why, hello there, matey scallywags and friends. How you doing? Uh, yes, it's been a while since I've done a video, but first and foremost, look at these nails. They're fantastic. A little blurry, uh, but it's this Logitech camera. Anyways, um, today's video, we're going to be playing with some oil pastels. We're going to be playing with this beast of a medium. Um, as you see, these are from Pintel. I got them on sale, and here's the thing. I am a uh, jack of all trade, master of none. I'm noob supreme. I like to try new things. And uh, oil pastels have been something that has always gotten away from me. Like, I never really could get the blend or the texture down right. And um, this paper here, it is a, the, uh, it's a ca uh, Canson, uh, cannot speak, Canson uh, XL watercolor paper. It's the cold press. And so I tried these out and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this out on this uh, on some on some Bristol paper. So I grabbed some Bristol paper and uh, decided, you know what? Let's just try this out and uh, see what we can do. So for this, uh, I'm just doing working on blending and shading and just actually getting a feel for the uh, medium. So for oil pastels, like I said. And for whatever reason, in my head, I, I can't get it, but we're going to try blending with a uh, paper towel, Q-tips, and our phalangy, their fingers. And um, listen, right off the bat, you're probably going to see here in a minute, uh, this is the move. I, the, at, at this point, which when I start blending, you are going to see where my hands are like, I have been using oil pastels wrong 100% of the time. <laughs> Prior to this time. 100% of the time using them wrong. Um, now don't get me wrong, uh, with the cold, with the cold pressed watercolor paper, look, look at that blend. Oh my God. And you'll see like as you move on, <laughs> I'm like, why is this blending so well? Um, I like the texture of the, of sort of, a, of a, of a, well, a textured paper. Uh, but with this, uh, this is the way to use oil pastels. And I, I think it's him where I just like, yeah, I'm just like, I've been doing this wrong the entire time. Oh, and I'm, I'm, I'm multitasking while I was recording this. Anyways, uh, yeah, look at that blend. Look at it. And uh, now we're going in, of course, with the different colors. And I'm working this out. Like I said, my main thing I think with, with this, this is sort of like a two in one video right? Where I am trying out a new medium, but I'm also working on a uh, shadow and highlights and things like that. So I just stayed with these uh, sort of orangey reds and oranges and reds. Look how that blends. Like, <laughs> I really wish I would have done a video showing me using, like doing the, oh my God, focus. There we go. Uh, where I was doing the cold press watercolors. And it's just literal night and day how well this blends. So uh, I will leave you, as you see, I'm kind of getting it <laughs> all over the place. And you will see coming up, uh, this is of course sped up, you know, um, where I'm like, I made a mistake. <laughs> I think I did make a couple mistakes when I was doing this. Number one, uh, for sure. I probably should have rolled my kneaded eraser over the paper uh, or maybe used something more like a colored pencil, but I mean, you, have, you live and you fucking learn. Oh yeah, it's getting close. So, um, yeah, what else can I tell you about this experience? Uh, just a lot of layering I have found is also another key for me. Um, again, learning as we go. I'm not classically trained like I think the last art class I took was probably probably middle school me I don't remember uh, but everything I do I just sort of jump in with curiosity saying hey I wonder if I can do that um, which is how majority of my art gets made can I do that let me see if I can create my own version <laughs> my own version version of it so um, as you see, using the paper towel to do the blending, um, real nice. It's definitely, I will say, and maybe it's just because these are fairly, I haven't really used these. Um, I did feel like a little bit of like <laughs> out of control 
with them, uh, especially when with blending. And I didn't want to use my fingers. I, I really do have an aversion of getting my hands, like stuff on my hands. Um, so anytime you see me sort of like blend something out with my finger on here, or, or even if you see me like where I'm painting, I might, might be blending stuff out with my fingers. Um, I, I am hating it. Uh, sometimes I'm doing it sort of mindlessly where I'm just like in the zone. Uh, but I, when I realize what I've done, I'm like, ew, <laughs> get this off. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And again, it's just layers and layers to, and then blending and blending to get that right look, that right texture. And again, it's definitely more, I feel like an impressionist medium. Oh, this is where you get to see, oh yeah, I think you're getting ready to see where I kind of feel like I fucked up a little bit here. Um, I have used Q-tips and I think maybe the Q-tips work better on a more rough texture because you're trying to get the um, pastel down into like the grooves of the paper. While with this, this is, it's, it's, it's smooth like butter, like butter, so smooth. And uh, again, going in trying to add some shadows, but it's a lot of building because when you blend, you know, of course, some of the color goes away when you're blending. Um, but yeah, this is sort of like gradual layer layering, and um, I'm I'm so happy that I did it. But uh, I learned again a lot about about mm, the medium, you know, the craft, <laughs> so to speak. And yeah, I think this is where I start like messing up where I'm like, oh my God, this is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> um, but I really hope you uh, enjoy this video. Uh, this was definitely, I like making these videos. Um, definitely real sorry that I haven't been able to get around to doing more of these. It's just been hectic end of the year. Living that, in, living that end of year. <laughs> <laughs> mom life trying to get everyone together and uh things like that but uh i really do enjoy making these videos i'm hoping to make uh some more videos soon uh let me know if you have any suggestions uh for what videos you'd like to see uh if you're not uh already you can follow me on all my social media things uh tiktok instagram the app formerly known as twitter and then, of course, here on Ko-Fi, uh, if you wish to support me, um, you can watch me do art live on Twitch. Uh, you can donate here on Ko-Fi. I also have a throne where um, you can put help me help me build the art collection, of art supplies, uh, stream tech, all sorts of things. Um, you know, trying to trying to get the the the, the, the art dream and stream dreams happening here. And uh, this is what I love to do. Oh, oh yeah, you're about to see where I really, <laughs> where I was like, this is a mistake. Um, but we're almost done. So that's why I was kind of giving a little bit of an outro um, here. And I'm just really, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Definitely, we're about to see a learning, a learning lesson here. Uh, but what else, what should we talk about? Um, that about we're almost done. You know what? I treat these videos like I do my stream where I just continually ramble up until the end. Uh, but let me leave you, of course, like I always do. And that is, if no one's told you this today, I want you to hear it from me that I am so very proud of you. You are loved. You are valued. You are allowed to hold space. Make sure you're doing something kind for yourself. That's very important because you cannot pour from an empty cup. Um... And then, um, yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you, anyone who's watching, uh, anyone who's taking the time to hang out in my Twitch stream, uh, like a tweet, like a TikTok, like an Instagram reel or post. Uh, like I said, it definitely means uh, more than I think uh, you realize. Um, but oh my God, oh my God. Look at that. I fucked up here. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, but don't worry. I fixed it. I promise. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful time zone. I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. And remember, if you are ever given an opportunity to be a pirate, 
Um, I really hope you choose to be a pirate. Uh, live wild, stay free, remain forever, and always untamable. Until next time, my friends, uh, you can, like I said, you can catch me over on Twitch Live, uh, Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then uh, all over the social medias uh, everywhere. So, all right. Thanks so much. Uh, until next time. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.